Some people wouldn't know something was priceless if you shoved it under their nose, shouting, This is priceless! <laughs> and talking about shoving things under someone's noses... <laughs> Never diddle with a doggy's dindins, Fly. Oh, you can smell that bowl from miles away. It's too delicious. Ah, that's because I never wash it. A dog's bowl should always be licked clean. Oh, you're such a tease. Right, let's see what Florence is up to. I hear she's got some kind of swapping shop. Oh. Oh, no, you don't. I haven't had dessert yet. <laughs> Spoil sport! Good morning, Florence. Ermintrude. Hello. And what have we here? This is my swap shop. You can swap anything you like with what you see on the stool. Ah! I don't eat buns myself, but I'm attending a tea party this afternoon, so I need something to take. What do you want to swap for it? Hmm. How about my hat? That'll do nicely. Good day, Florence. Morning, Florence. Um, hello, Brian. What a splendid hat. Fashionable yet functional. Perfect for keeping a hair-free head warm. It's all yours. If you've got something to swap for it. Oh, I've got just the thing. Hang on a tick. <laughs> Hello, Dylan. Nice earmuffs. Mm. I said nice earmuffs. <laughs> Sorry, I've got my earmuffs on. <laughs> Nice, aren't they? <laughs> uh, I will swap this fine alarm clock for the hat, Florence. It's a deal. Oh, <laughs> oops! Oh, <laughs> it's nice and big, isn't it? Whoa, nice ticker. Now this could come in handy. I don't like to oversleep, as you know. Really? So, what would you like to swap for it? Uh, how about my muffs? Deal. And a tick, and a talk, and a... <laughs> Whoa! Now that's loud! Swapped anything yet, Florence? Well, I swapped these earmuffs for a clock, the clock for a hat, and a hat for a bun. A bun? Ho, ho, ho! I'll swap for a bun too. Here, take my bow. Oh, I'm sorry, but the bun's gone. What about these? Oh. But I want a bun. What about my mould collection? Oh, buzz off. Oh, I, I couldn't help overhearing. Would you swap that bowl for uh, this? <laughs> <gasps> yes. It's a smelly old bowl. Are you sure you want to swap it for a cake? <laughs> of course he does. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Dougal's right. You are looking at an extremely rare and priceless bowl from the Mongrel dynasty. Oh. oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I do beg your pardon. Oh, my apologies. Accepted. Dougal? Why the sad face? Because I'm full of regret. What kind of regret? The swapping your favourite bowl for a cream cake kind of regret. Oh, why was I so foolish? A dog without a bowl is like a fish without water. Oh, you could always swap something for the bowl to get it back. I've never heard anything so brilliant in my life. <laughs> oh, no, I'm very glad. Oh, sorry. There. Now, whew, this little lot should get me my bowl back. There. Pride of place. Fly? Now, you know you're not allowed in my shop. Why not? Uh, hmm. 
Let's just say bath time isn't number one on your to-do list. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hello there, Dougal. Mr Grimsdale, I was wondering if you'd like to do a bit more swapping. OK. What have you got, Dougal? My entire bone collection for my old bowl. <laughs> Sorry, Dougal, but there aren't enough bones in the world to swap for a bowl like this. Oh, oh, oh. A dog without his bowl is like a bird without wings. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, this clock is keen. I'm beginning to wish I had my earmuffs back. Never mind your earmuffs. What about my old bowl? I feel lost without it. So, like, why don't you get a new bowl? A new bowl. I've never heard anything so brilliant in my life. <laughs> so you want to make a new bowl to swap for the old bowl that Mr Grimsdale has got? Precisely. I've always fancied myself as a bit of a potter, you know. Squeaking noise. Hmm. What is Dougal up to? He's making a new dog bowl. More like a dog's dinner. <laughs> Ooh. How's the pot coming along, Dougal? Oh, uh, uh, nearly there. <laughs> Ta da! One dog bowl. Oh. Ooh. It's, um, not very big, is it? No, but uh, it's perfectly formed. Oh, it's no good. Mr Grimsdale will never swap it for my old bowl. Could I swap something for that little bowl? <sighs> what? Like some mould or an old apple core? Yeah, what about your old bowl back? Me? Uh, eh? I can get your bowl back. Hello, Mr Grimsdale. Not in my shop, Fly. You know the rules. Oh, this looks nice. No, it's not. Stop sitting on my fruit. Sorry, what about this carrot? No. Courgette? No, no, no. Look, here, have a grape. Just leave my shop, eh? A grape? A grape! <laughs> this fly needs a banquet. I'm starving. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> now, this is more like it. Oh, no. Die, die, die. Stop! <laughs> ah, look, just take whatever you want and leave. Anything? Oh, anything. Hmm. I'll take this then. Oh, uh, but it's priceless. Okay, die, die, die. Okay. Just take the bowl and go, will you? <laughs> One dog bowl. One fly bowl. Um, I was rather wondering if I could have my hat back. The tea party was cancelled. Oh! Oh! One hat! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, this clock is, like, too loud. Could I have my muffs back, please? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which would you like, Ryan? It's taken me years to get into this kind of shape, so no buns for me. All right, then. So, what are you going to do with that bun? Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> Oh, all right, then. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're all back where we started. It's time to party! <laughs> I wish it was time for bed. <laughs> Just for you, I'm waiting for you. 
Just for you, just for you.